Before I call out some of the quality of life and polish that's new in Elden Ring, I'd like to call out some returning features from earlier games. This might seem a bit redundant, but not every good feature carries forward in the Soul series. Both your next spell and item are displayed next to your current selection. This is a carryover from Dark Souls 2. There's also a simple view for menus that allows you to see the game while making selections. This is expanded from Dark Souls 2. In the network test for Elden Ring, there's already quite a few new features to appreciate. The cookbook items used in crafting list which items they allow you to make. You're also able to scroll through the list of tips and load screens. Rather than being centered, the start menu is now on the sides of the screen. Your current weapon skill is shown next to the rest of your equipment. This is especially important as you can swap those skills out. The skill that you use is dependent on which of your weapons have skills. This defaults to your left hand. If you have a skill in your right hand and no skill on your left, then you'll use the skill in your right hand. On the other hand, two-handing a weapon always uses that weapon skill. The toolbar that used to be in your start menu is now an item pouch, and you can hold wire triangle and press the D-pad to use those items. In Elden Ring, you can allot your flasks at Sites of Grace rather than needing to go to an NPC. It seems like FP is just overall more available, and there's many more spells and skills to use it. There's also no stamina cost out of combat. This makes it much easier to travel around. While I wasn't able to test on PlayStation, Illusory Wall reports that at least on PS5 you can turn off motion gestures. Another nice item change is that there's an Obtain section which describes where you can find each item. I mentioned this before when talking about the map, but it's nice to have the compass point to your bloodstain. I can't remember if this is in the earlier games, but the Crimson and Cerulean flask descriptions change when they're empty. Not only is there no stamina cost out of combat, but your lock range is greatly extended as well. One thing I wasn't able to test is whether torches also extend your lock range. This is a feature that only existed in Dark Souls 2. Unfortunately, torches were the only light source that had this effect. The cast light spell didn't increase your lock range at all.